Welcome back, everyone, on this great American Bash weekend. Exclusive WCW Worldwide matchup. Tony Schiavone, things are at a fever pitch in World Championship Wrestling as we count down the hours to the Great American Bash. And that's not just because of the Human Torch match involving Sting versus Vampiro, where you have to set your opponent on fire to win at the Great American Bash. Can you imagine what's going to happen this Sunday at after all's Great American Bash? What in the world? Wait a minute, Alan Fudd's got the microphone. What did he say? He said nothing. Chronic's music is hit. Very unique matchup here on Worldwide. The former WCW World Tag Team Champions, Brian Clark, Brian Adams, the duo known as Chronic, have signed to face three men in this matchup. Alan Fudd, Styling. What happened to them a week ago? Couldn't care less. I think they could take on four guys here tonight, Mike. Still a lot of heat between Chronic and the new World Tag Team Champions. That team called the Perfect Event. Perfection. And the event, Chuck Palumbo, the new World Tag Team title holders, and yes, the three members, Funk Paris and Eden, in a standoff with Chronic, and then Chronic hits the ring, and they immediately take the advantage. Flying everywhere. Power personified, just jump them out of the ring. And now they're going to follow up that advantage. Going out to the floor, Brian Clark takes Air Paris, sends him into the ring. He just fed him to big Brian Adams. And Adams unleashes a right hand, also upcoming at the Great American Bash this weekend. The world's heavyweight championship will be at stake. Kevin Nash to face the chosen one, Jeff J. When the Millionaire's Club squares off in another matchup with the New Blood. It has been an exciting time to be a fan of WCW, of sports entertainment, especially over the last two weeks or so with the return of Goldberg. What an electric moment over a week ago on Monday Nitro. And of course, Goldberg is back, and that spells doom for a lot of men, obviously. Tech Abbott, the first man on his left. And of course, the New Blood very upset with this bond that we've seen as of late formed by big papa pump scott steiner and big sexy kevin nash as alan funk is just brought into the ring by his neck from big brian clark boot to the midsection doubled him over sets him up against the ropes and the knife hits chop rock alan funk follows up with another boot sends him off into the ropes be able to slide through, attempt at a drop kick, and a second one, not having much of it, he just fly swatted him away. Gotta give Alan Funk a lot of credit. He went to it three consecutive times. That drop kick, a lot of power in those legs, but not much effect on a guy the size of a Brian Clark. Wrong team, wrong place for this trio trying to face Chronic. And of course, Tony, the new blood has been promising that they will end the careers of Hulk Hogan this weekend at the Great American Bash, Hogan to face Billy Kidman with Horace as the special referee, and it's father versus son when the nature boy Ric Flair clashes with David Flair. Ric Flair claiming that if David wins, he will walk away from the sport. You have to wonder how much more emotionally Ric Flair has left in his body. He has been able to become the WCW champion many, many times. Wait a minute, what's going on here? Alan Funk extending the hand. Trying to get either Air Paris or Style and Shane Eden into this matchup. And very reluctantly, Air Paris decides that he's going to try. Big Brian Adams, and there's the triple roll backbreaker. I'd be so bold as to say Air Paris has been grounded. You certainly may, and he certainly was. To the offense again. Air Paris able to duck the clothesline. Goes airborne, attempted the sunset flip. Too much power. Just toying with it. Out of the full Nelson, where's he going to send him? I think the answer is probably anywhere oh! he pleases. That's exactly what he did. Adams for the cover. A one count before Alan Funk and Shane Eden in to break things up now. All five men 
in the ring as referee Charles Robinson attempts to maintain order. It's amazing Air Paris could even move to slide over. Pump handle time. Going to take him up. Slides him down to the canvas. Brian Clark just drove Alan Funk directly to the mat. Trying to use the strength and numbers that they have. This trio not having much success. Brian Adams has Air Paris up on his shoulders and drives him down head first to the mat. This is just total domination. Almost a workout here for the tag team of Chronic, the former world tag team title holders. Style and Shane Eden gets a boot to the chest. I think it's high time that we see high time. Adams and Clark oh. take him into the air, and there's that double choke slam that they call high time. Talk about a nonchalant cover, but it just doesn't matter. There you see the three count. The former world tag champs are back on track. The big soda block. And then the high time, the double team. The winners of the match here on Worldwide running. And we will be back with more right after this on WCW Worldwide.